and welcome back to TK's Bar. I'm your host Tessa and today we're going to be making an autumn punch. Today we're going to be making an autumn punch and this will be an alcoholic punch but if you wanted you could always just put the alcohol on the side and then people could dish out the amount of alcohol that they wanted and just if they wanted to they could omit it or whatever but I do think that this tastes really really good with the alcohol in it so I would highly suggest doing it that way. Another thing too, I will leave the recipe below for an individual size one and for the punch size like the larger size just in case you want to try this recipe out beforehand for a single serving feel free to do so. Now, this is awesome, kind of like apple, lemon, it's got a lot of autumn flavors and we're putting a lot of autumn fruits in it. So it's really, really good for any of your October, November party needs. So first we're starting off with our ingredients and we're gonna start off with our alcoholic ingredients first. The two alcohols we're gonna be using today are both gonna be whiskeys. We're using Crown Royal Apple, which you might've seen in on my channel before. I'll leave a video link up here for my apple whiskey sour which is super good and you should definitely try it and then our other one is going to be fireball which is a cinnamon whiskey so you can tell that these flavors are going to go really really good together and it's going to be awesome then kind of like one of our mixers in this is going to be an apple cider you can use whatever apple cider you want this is just the one that i found in the store then our last ingredient is going to be this italian lemon soda you could use whatever lemon soda you want the only thing is that this is an already sweetened soda so we're adding a little bit more sugar which is going to mask the flavor of the alcohols a bit more so just some things to keep in mind you could put a unsweetened one or just regular soda water if you wanted but i think that it will affect the taste a little bit so i would try it beforehand and then last but not least, I've just got some fresh squeezed lemon juice here because we're going to be putting some fresh squeezed lemon juice as well as the lemon soda. So you're going to need some of that as well. So to get straight into mixing our drink, we're going to be using this big punch bowl that my mom left me. And to measure our drinks, because it would be so tedious to use a jigger, we're going to be using a measuring cup. So just make sure you've got one like this that has cups or you can change my measurements into cups if you wanted. So starting off, we're gonna do two and a half cups of our Crown Royal Apple. And then we're gonna do one and a quarter cup of our Fireball. And if you didn't realize it, I put the punch bowl right in front, so that's what I'm pouring this into. <laughs> then we're gonna do one and a quarter cup of our lemon juice. And then two and a half cups of our apple cider. Then we're gonna do five cups of our Italian lemon soda. So we're just gonna give this a quick little mix here to incorporate everything. And here's a little pro tip for everyone. Put the ice beside the punch bowl in a separate bowl. So then when the ice starts to melt, it doesn't start diluting the punch. Instead, you can just serve it into your individual glass with the ice instead of having this all get diluted. So I have a little cup here that's actually part of the set. And I've got a ladle and I'm just gonna give this a quick little taste to make sure that the flavor is right before we put all of our garnishes in. That's really nice. I think that it could have a little bit more of the apple cider though. So we're gonna put another cup of apple cider in it. One more cup of our apple cider. Now I've chosen specifically autumn type fruits and then also ones that I think will go really well with the flavor. Feel free to switch this up if you want, but I think that these are some really good options if you're a little lost on how you want to put your fruit in your bowl. So starting off, I've got some lemons just because we do have lemon soda and lemon juice in here. So might as well put some lemons as well. Then I feel like pears really complement apples, so I've gone and really thinly, thinly sliced up some pears here and we'll just throw those in too. Then I've got some apples and I've kind of chopped these up 
very similarly, so they're really, really thin as well. And then last thing to garnish this, to give it a bit more color other than our brown, earthy tones, I've got some really nice pomegranate seeds here that'll just add a burst of color and then also a little bit of flavor when you get it in the glass. So I'm just, this is one full pomegranate worth of seeds. You probably don't need the whole thing, but I think they look so cute that I'm just gonna put most of them in. And then our last thing to do is give this a final try so I can tell you guys how good it tastes. Um, and I wanna get a couple of those little pomegranate seeds in there as well. That's really, really nice. So you get a lot of that apple whiskey and also that cinnamon whiskey, and they work really well together, almost like an apple cider in a sense. And then also you have the sweetness from the apple cider that just puts it through the roof. So you're basically drinking an apple cider, but then you've got the lemon, which kind of cuts through that flavor, and then you've got the Italian lemon soda, which gives it a little bit more bubbles, which is really, really, really nice. One other thing that I would say is that if this is a little bit too strong for you, because sometimes punches are a little bit lighter, I would just suggest putting a little bit of club soda in here to make it a little bit more bubbly and a little bit lighter. But for me, autumn drinks are a bit, a bit more heavy, so I think that this is perfect the way it is. So hopefully you get around to trying this punch bowl at home or for your friends or whatever. It's definitely a great one to try if you're hosting a party or a family dinner or something like that. Awesome uh, punch bowl to try. But if you want to just try the drink by itself, again, I'll leave the individual measurements below. So whether or not you try it as a punch bowl or as an individual drink, I definitely suggest you try it at home. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. If you like me and you like this channel, I would love it if you give me a like on this video and subscribe down below. And you can also hit the bell if you want and you'll be notified every time I post. Also, if you have any comments, concerns, questions, if you liked a drink that I made or you didn't like a drink that I made, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. So let me know and I'd love to hear your feedback. Other than that, again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.